Hey guys, it is Roxy Rolls, and what's up? And today, I'm here with the star of the show. Roxy, would you like to say hi? Would you like to say hi to the video? Well, anyway, she says hi. Um, but she's going to be here with me today. So, today's going to be a short and sweet video, as usual. And I'm going to be trying this TikTok trend. Well, it's kind of like a TikTok slash YouTube trend. But, anyways, I'm going to be trying it today. So, some of y'all might have heard of it. It's the mac and cheese and Powerade trend. But, yeah, it's nothing new. But, I mean, I'm going to be trying it today. A lot of people say it's good. Some people say it's bad. But, either way, I'm going to be trying it today. So, without further ado, let's get in today's video. Guys, so I got everything I need. And I just wanted to guess how good this is going to be before I necessarily do it. But I'm kind of on the fence about this. I mean, instead of adding water to the mac and cheese, you're going to be adding Powerade and warming it up. But a lot of people say this is good. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, it's it's going to be one or the other. And I guess I can't really say much about it. So, we just got to figure it out. So, let's get into it. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to start. So, I'm going to be opening the mac and cheese. And here's the powder, which I'll put that in later, so I'll just throw that to the side. And as you can see, here's the macaroni and cheese. And I have no idea what to think about this, but okay, here we go. So here's the Powerade, and I'm going to be opening this up <clears throat> and putting it in. Okay, so I guess you just fill it up to the fill line because that's how you do the water. So I'm going to be doing that. Okay, I hope I didn't feel that too much, but I think it'll be A-OK. -okay. And it's already looking kind of green already, obviously. I mean, what was, what was I expecting? And don't worry, I'm not going to be wasting the rest of this power. You can count on me. And I'm going to be putting this in the microwave for 3.5 minutes. So, let's see how this turns out. Alright, 3.5 minutes on the clock, and let's see how it turns out. I have no idea why I'm so scared right now. Like, <laughs> I'm getting the feeling that my microwave is gonna blow up. I don't know why. Just guys, I'm legitimate smelling like Pop Tart. It smells like warmed up Pop Tart. Like maybe like wild berry, blueberry. That's the best way I can describe the smell. But <laughs> it's about done. We have about one minute left, so we're gonna wait until then. And it's done. Oh my gosh. Why am I so nervous to take this out right now? Um, <laughs> that is so weird looking. If you could see the reaction on my face. Ew, like it kind of smells good. Why? This is what it looks like. If y'all can see, this looks kind of good. This is something I, I'd expect if, like, I don't know, you were making, like, mac and cheese during, like, Halloween or something, and you were trying to, like, scare kids to think, like, it's poison or something like I I don't know. I mean, it's just weird. I wasn't expecting it to turn out like this, but, like, it's literally green. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm going to put the cheese in and we're going to try it. So I got the cheese right here. I'm just simply going to tear it and put it in. I hope this don't ruin mac and cheese for me because I love mac and cheese. It's like, I want to say it's my favorite. It's my second favorite. Pizza is my favorite food. I would say it's my second. 
But yeah, I put the cheese in and want to mix it up. This is how it's looking so far. I haven't really got it mixed up so well yet. If this is actually good, don't judge me, but I might eat it like this. Like, maybe like a few more times. I don't know. Kind of get it off my fork. And continue mixing, mixing, mixing. It is super hot. I'm gonna have to wait for it to cool off before I actually eat it. Yeah, I'm kind of excited and scared at the same exact time, but never gonna figure out how good it is until I try it. So, I'm gonna wait a few minutes to let it cool down and then I'll try it. So, see y'all in a second. Okay, guys, so it's been about five, seven ish minutes and I've gave it time to cool off. So, here is the results. If you can see, there. It's kind of like greenish looking instead of blue. It was really blue when before I put the cheese in it, like as soon as I took it out of the microwave. But now it's kind of green looking. That makes sense because I mean I added yellow cheese to it. I mean what other color of cheese is there? But yeah, you know what it's time for. Probably the moment y'all have been waiting for. So I'm going to try it. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so here's my first spot. Oh. My gosh. Why is this actually good? Get out of town. Why is this actually good? Get out of here. Why is this? Oh my gosh. I would have never. I, I would have never imagined that this, this mac and cheese with, with Powerade in it. Oh my gosh. This is like. I'm speechless. Okay, so guys, if there's one thing that y'all don't know about me is I am a very, very picky eater. So, I don't like much. But this, this, this is good. 100 percent, 10 out of 10, no, 100 out of 10. This is good. I recommend that you all try this trend. All you need is mac and cheese and Powerade. It's simple. Oh my, it's early in the morning. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is so good. Hands down, one of the best things I've ever had. And this is probably one of the stupidest, like, things I've done. And it turned out amazing. I was not expecting that. That was good. So, end results, a million out of ten. I think that was amazing. Everybody has different opinions, but I think that this was pretty good. So, I totally recommend you to try this, if you're willing to. For me, I'm a really picky eater, so some of y'all might find that surprising that I actually tried this, but 100% recommend. Like, this is good. You might not think so. I mean, I truly was not thinking this. I genuinely think that this was not going to be good. I thought it was going to be nasty. Excuse me, by the way. But, I mean, it leaves me almost speechless of how good it was. 
So 100% recommend try this at home if you're willing to. I think it was really good, so I really think that you should try this. Reminder, all you need is Kraft Macaroni and Cheese and Powerade. That's all you need. Warm it up in the microwave. Just That's all you do. It's pretty simple. It was really short and sweet. I'm probably not going to be uploading too much. As y'all, some of y'all know, if you're older viewers, that usually most of my videos I record a lot in the summer. So expect a lot of videos then, but school's kind of busy right now, if y'all realize. So it's near TCAPS, and I'm just kind of busy with school life and my normal life. So um, don't expect many videos from me. I'm going to be kind of taking a break to focus on school and my life. But... Before, if I don't see you before then, then expect tons of videos in the summer because I got it coming at you. I hope you all enjoyed today's video today. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, I hope you all have a wonderful day and bye.